the panel this evening. I'm joined by uh, Alec Padamsi, uh, ad filmmaker, also Shweta Shalini of the BJP and Sanjay Jha of uh, the Congress joining us this evening. Alec, well, let me start asking, you know, you, you, you've seen those absolutely horrific images, uh, you know, which all the, the entire country is watching with this mix of shock, horror, anger and grief. Many are asking if fire is to blame or is it apathy and negligence? What would you say? I would say there is dereliction of duty. Three main responsibilities. That is, one is the owner of the premises, two is the BMC, and three is the fire chief. If all three had done their job in advance, and we would not have had this terrible tragedy. The whole point about running cities, which are overcrowded, we agree. Mm. But so is Tokyo, mm. so is New York, mm. so are many cities, so is Sao Paulo mm. in, in Brazil. Mm. But they don't allow things like this. They have regular Absolutely. inspections. Okay. Can we look at the records mm. of the, the fire chief, whether he has checked out every year the eating places in Bombay? Mm. Can we have a look at the record of the BMC if they've inspected all the eating places in Bombay? Right. And can we have a, a record of the owner of this particular eating place? Did he or she take care to see that exits were totally clear? Signage Those are good points. Up, and that they had enough fire extinguishers on the premises. Those are good points. And of course, you've seen a long mm -hmm. statement there by, this uh, is the point by is those who are running this uh, restaurant called One Above. They're, of course, insisting that as well. But Shweta Shalini, come in at this stage. There's, of course, so many questions that people are asking. Just what were the kind of checks and balances in place? What all were violated? Why don't we learn our lessons? But my question to you is, should the mayor, you believe, uh, be sacked for something like this? Should the BMC commissioner be sacked? Who should take responsibility and step down? So, Natasha, uh, I Definitely, think, uh, I think the BMC should be sacked. Okay. It is nothing more than BMC standing for B B Bombay uh, Mess Corporation. That's all it is. It's okay. a mess. Okay. It's a mess. So, what's the question okay. to I think me, Natasha? The government, I yeah, think the I chief minister, I, yes, I think Mr. Fadnavis, should yeah. step in and check everything out. Okay, just one moment, Alex. I'm just trying to get, get Shweta to respond to that. Shweta, go ahead. Run, you can't run a company. The, the BMC is a company. They Let can't her answer, run. Alex. They can't, yeah. they can't run anything. Okay. Go ahead, Shweta. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Yes. Uh, Natasha, Sorry. I think to start with, let's understand this, that what has happened has been extremely sad. Uh, what we've seen is young people losing lives. And I'm sure... Uh, it is, it has to be negligence. So let's understand this, that we don't need to politicize this. So I don't want to get uh, any political figures into this discussion. What we need to understand as a society that we all need to be responsible and aware of what can, what is our right, what is our responsibility. Who okay. should, do you Let's believe that somebody this. should lose That's their jobs for it? Joke. Do you believe that action should be taken if yes? Action who? Has been if taken not, why? For the why? very first time, hmm. Natasha Ji, for the very first time, uh, action has been taken in less than few hours. Hmm. Five officers hmm. have been suspended. Hmm. That includes the fire officer. For the first time hmm. in the history of BMC, a fire officer has been suspended. Hmm. Also, the ward officer has been changed. Uh, uh, if you look at okay. the uh, owners of the pub, uh, it, it belongs to somebody called C-grade hospitality. Uh, Ratesh Sangvi, Jigar Sangvi, Yes, Abhijit we know Sangha, that. Right. All have We've... been booked under yeah. IPC 304 for okay. culpable homicide. But many would uh, ask, IPC okay. And IP338. I see now, what you're saying. These actions have been taken since yesterday midnight. But many will so ask, Shweta, is this enough? Many will ask if court. this is enough. Let me just take but this to Shekhar Krishnamurti. He's someone who lost. society, we need to be aware. We need to have right disaster management norms. We need to understand why don't we have them? Why don't we have time? them? What is That's that still the big question. I want to take this to uh, Krishnamurti. Uh, you know, you lost your children in the Upar fire. You fought so bravely all these years along with your wife Neelam to get justice, you know, and to get basic fire norms in place. 
this must be, uh, Shekhar, this evening, such a horrible sense of deja vu. Exactly, you know, this is uh, very disturbing since morning, you know, like and uh, yesterday night when I saw the news, it was very disturbing. But uh, I want to say one thing that uh, India as a nation reacts but does not prevent. You know, I've been fighting this case for the last 21 years. And uh, it's all rhetoric now. And whatever the politicians are saying that we'll do this, we'll do that, we've done that, nothing is going to happen because what I've seen is that now they put them under 304 and take my words, by the time it reaches the court, this will not sustain the court of law. Everybody is going to uh, you know, refer to the Upar judgment which has been settled by the Supreme Court. And incidentally, ours is the only case a man-made disaster which has been decided by the Supreme Court and they've been convicted. But in the end, what happened? An Ansel's walked free by paying 60 uh, crores and the DFS person was convicted, walked free by paying 10 lakh rupees. So the easy way is to, for the uh, you know, authorities to take bribe and at the end of the day, they'll say, okay, fine. You know, like if you're caught, you're convicted, you're going to say, okay, we are old and we have, we have the first time offense and things like that and they'll pay money and they'll go off. What we have been asking the government for since 2009, is to bring in a law to deal with man-made disaster so that you know like there's a separate law because 304 a it's not an accident i'll call it murder by willful negligence you know you it's see right. everything is a repeat you know 20 years later you say that there is no exit 20 years later you say that there is no you know like people have died of asphyxia <laughs> 20 years after that you say that you know like you know like the MC people have been you know like uh, dmc bmc people have been bribed and taken the noc this is not the way you know like human life has become cheap in india and we are we are very very, very you know like destroyed thought about this you know okay you know I'm, i i i see what you're saying i'm going to uh, you know you're calling it murder sanjay ja come in at this stage you know this is it's it's heartbreaking to hear shaker say that it's it, it's just heartbreaking to just imagine what those families are going through the lot those young ones but there seems to be that governments come and go you know some ex party may be in charge or why but on the ground for india for its people nothing ever changes uh, you know, Natasha, I speak here today on your channel, not just as the spokesperson of my party, but as somebody who's been a very proud Mumbaker for the last almost 30 years that I've lived here. And I can tell you that, uh, you know, I'm appalled and aghast at the fact that, you know, when we make statements that five BMC officials have been suspended and that is unprecedented and the chief minister announces an investigation, for God's sake, let's get, let's move out from these platitudes. The bottom line is you will find no politician, and I speak without any bias here, no politician ever will resign taking a moral responsibility to begin with. End of day, this is a failure of the political system. You can hang the bureaucrats. Yes, they are also partially responsible. Mm. But end of day, if you want to get the job done, you can get it done. Mm. The, tra the tragedy of Mumbai, mm. and I've seen the gradual you know, decadence that has stepped in. I, I used to argue, Sanjay by the way. What you're losing okay. on the uh, fact. Uh, uh, can, can I speak, Natasha, without the BJP spokesperson interrupting? This okay. is not a day, madam, for indulging in an acrimonious exchange. Let's be a little solemn. Okay. Innocent people have died for no I see what days. you're saying, but... but Okay. Yeah, you know, Natasha, the larger point that we should not ignore, mm -hmm. that the political system here is directly responsible for this. Mm -hmm. I would request the BJP spokesperson not to make these, you know, motherhood but let respond. quantifications. I see what you're saying, minute, and there are lots the of people. The BJP and the Shiv Sena have run the okay. city for the so, last 25 years.